So you want to buy Boards and Beyond and you don't know if it's the right resource for you. In this video, I'm going to talk all about Boards and Beyond. I'm going to explain what exactly it is and why you should use Boards and Beyond. So let's get started. The reason why you should listen to me in this video is that I watched all Boards and Beyond. It was my main resource throughout my dedicated period. It was even before my dedicated period. I finished Boards and Beyond, all of it, except maybe two systems at most. At most two systems. But other than that, I finished most of Boards and Beyond. So I know exactly how to use Boards and Beyond and how, how awesome this resource is. I'd say this is the highest yield resource that you could possibly think about. It's like first aid, but the video version of it. So the doctor, the doctor, the, the doctor who is explaining Boards and Beyond videos in Boards and Beyond videos is called Dr. Jason Roy, and he is a cardiologist. And the students really liked his style of explain, explanation and how he explains uh, uh, complex concepts into easier ones how he breaks down stuff and stuff like that. And they advised him to make a video lecture, video lectures to explain uh, topics in medical school. And what he's done is basically a big video library for step one, step two, step, I, I think step two, step one and step two. And what he discusses in these videos is literally everything. It's from A to Z. You, you cannot, there's nothing you cannot find there. Okay, if you want to look for GI hormones, you will find GI hormones. If you want to look for cancer, you can find videos about cancer. So everything on the boards is explained in Boards and Beyond videos. So it's a great resource for the people who like, who wants to master a lot of concepts. But it's a great concept for people who don't like to miss anything, like any piece of information. Okay. <clears throat> And by the way, I have not finished with your world. I only finished 25% of your world, and the rest was basically BNB, BNB, aka BNB, uh, aka Boards and Beyond, was really a great resource, and it covered everything I needed to know in order to pass the exam. So 25% of your world was enough for me, plus Boards and Beyond, plus of course some other Q banks I've, I've dealt with. So I finished about half of Amboss were enough to finish the exam but without without further talking about me and you know my my experience let's just stick with Borders and Beyond. Clearing some misconceptions about Borders and Beyond. Some of the people says this guy just reads the PowerPoint slides and this is not true. Sometimes he is actually but this is because the PowerPoint slides are arranged in a very good way and he he really put the slides together very very well so just reading the slides is enough for you to understand and sometimes all i need all you need is just somebody who reads the book with you and so don't really underestimate the effect of somebody who is reading a book with you and explaining and putting things in context and stuff like that so, so yeah some some videos are just pure reading of the slides yeah so that's that's true but this is, shouldn't be a good a bad thing and by the way guys i'm not sponsored by boys and beyond in any way and i have no benefit of saying anything it's just my experience that i've tried it myself and experimented and i saw how this guy if this guy said this piece of information is important it is important there is no way around it okay if he says this this part okay this part or this piece of information is gonna actually come on the exam or is gonna come into a question into a question and you're gonna i'm gonna use this piece of information to answer a question trust me it, it's gonna come up okay all right so let's talk about what are the best systems that you can use boards and beyond for neurology is number one neurology this guy explains neurology perfectly okay i finished neurology in the mid of fourth year and it was amazing okay it helped me throughout my clinical rotations, my stuff, and it helped me answer questions on the boards very, very easily. So I advise you guys, if you want to pick a system uh, in order to use Boards and Beyond for, Neurology is the way to go. If you have any questions regarding Boards and Beyond, please let me know. Boards and Beyond is amazing and, and a great resource. In order to, just to recap very, very quickly what I said, is a very, very amazing resource. It's a, like, it's a resource that really covers everything from A to Z. So if you wanna, 
if you have trouble finding or understanding a topic while answering questions, using words and beyond along the side with questions is very, very helpful. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you like this video. And I'm sorry if it's like a little um, chaotic in this video. I, I was trying to arrange what I'm, what I'm trying to say, but you know, things, you know, sometimes are hard. So um, anyway, without further ado, uh, have an amazing day. Okay guys, we're come, we've come to the end of the video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.